Hello hot tub owners and welcome back for another video. Today I'm going to share with you what type of sanitizer is best for your hot tub. And if you haven't already, please consider subscribing and clicking the like button. Now what is a sanitizer and why do we need it for our hot tub? Our hot tub is filled with algae spores, bacteria, and bather waste and all of that must be killed. And in order to do that, we need a good sanitizer. The sanitizer of our choice should do three things and that is sanitize, oxidize, and kill organic matter in the hot tub. Our two choices of sanitizer are chlorine and bromine. Both are great, but one edges out the other when it comes to your hot tub. We'll start with chlorine. We keep our hot tub temperatures between 103 to 104 degrees. While chlorine is the perfect sanitizer and is most widely used for pools, it's really not the best choice for our hot tubs. Chlorine rapidly degrades in heat. It simply doesn't like temperatures that high. It's for this reason that many hot tub owners will choose bromine as their sanitizer. Not only does bromine sanitize the water, it can handle higher temperatures that are commonly associated with hot tubs. And we also don't get that nasty chlorine smell that's sometimes associated with pools. But we don't actually add bromine to our hot tub. And we'll get to that in just a second. What we add is called bromide which we can get in granular and tablet form. We add bromide to our hot tub per the directions on the bottle. And we build what's known as a bromide bank. It's sometimes called a bromine bank. We can see on this bottle of granular bromide, it says it's not a disinfectant. It's to establish a reserve of bromide. On the bottle, it says to add one half an ounce of bromide into the hot tub per 100 gallons. And this is to establish a bromide bank of around 30 parts per million. That's our baseline. One half ounce is one tablespoon. Now we need to convert our beautiful bromide into our sanitizer, bromine. And we do that by adding a little bit of liquid chlorine. You can use bleach because it's the same as liquid chlorine. It's sodium hypochlorite. This is a 160 gallon hot tub. So I'm gonna add just a little less than one third cup of bleach. For a 200 gallon hot tub, we'll use 3.3 ounces, which is three ounces plus two teaspoons. When we add our bleach, a chemical reaction takes place and the bleach converts the bromide into our sanitizer, bromine. Now, not all the bromide is being used up, just a small amount. We still have a large portion of our reserve left. Using this amount of bleach would not only make our bromine, it's a really good way to shock our hot tubs as well, which we should be doing on a weekly basis or as often as we need to. To maintain a constant level of bromide, we can use one inch bromide tablets. Simply place a couple of them in your float and toss them into your hot tub. The tabs will slowly dissolve over time, which will give you a good bromide bank so you'll never run out. So go build your hot tub's bromide bank and enjoy your hot tub. Thanks for watching.